Hey, what's up, soul family? It's Mediterranean Goddess 1111. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. Um, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you are new. And if you're returning, what up, soul family? I'm here with a collective reading today. I'm going to go ahead and just clear the energy really quick. I want to set the intention of love and healing for this reading. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, you guys could hit me up on my email and I'll send you a price list for a person, like the different kinds of readings I offer and a price list. Otherwise, if you're just here to chill and kick it, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and enjoy this collective reading. This collective reading is from Source Creator. I don't call on other deities. I do say Holy Spirit, Source Creator, and Jesus, right? And then I welcome in ancestors as well, as well as our um, spirit team of the highest white light. So I just want to go ahead. I'm going to pull some um, Chosen Ones cards, and then I will come back with a love reading. How about that? I clear the energy and I ask for a clear and concise message. For our highest good. Here we go. I just want to say thank you for the soul family that has been here with me. And welcome new soul family as well. I just want to say I work for God and not for man's approval, not for likes, not for clout. Sarah, the Mediterranean goddess, is, is, is here as a vessel for, for Source Creator. Also, hey, if you guys haven't followed me, though, on Instagram, I do live readings on Instagram. I do, like, um, donation card pulls live. And um, just I show more, more personable side to me. You can also, um, you know, direct message me on there. If you want to. So that's Sarah dot the Mediterranean goddess. Or excuse me, I'm sorry. Sarah dot the goddess. <coughs> on Instagram, Sarah dot the goddess. On YouTube, Mediterranean goddess 1111. Okay. With all that being said, you guys have done this before. And spirit wants you to awaken to the fact that this is nothing new to you. This is not your first um, rodeo. This is not your first, I'm hearing match. This is not your first like boxing match. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is not your first, um, wow, I'm hearing it's not even your first awakening. So you've had many awakenings in past lives, okay? Every lifetime that we come, we're, we're having to awaken. So we need to be able to listen to these dream messages that we're getting. These dream messages from our ancient Egyptian ancestors, our ancient, it's just our ancient tribes are giving us dream messages, um, wanting us to wake up to our calling Wanting us to wake up to our power and understand that we have done this before. Like, see, third eye awakening, DNA upgrades. So receiving DNA um, upgrades to, I'm hearing to your soft tissue. So if you've had, if you've had any kind of uh, inflammation or soft tissue problems, um, I'm hearing you can lay your hands on that area because you have healing hands. So you're receiving a DNA upgrade of healing hands, I'm hearing. As you are awakening to this gift, spirit is going to be giving you dream messages and as well as just, um, I'm hearing inklings, like nudges on how to use um, this new gift or all your gifts, honestly. It's almost like once it integrates into your DNA, you know what to do with it. 
you know how to lay on the hands. You know how to do the light language. You know how to um, use Reiki and use crystal stones. You know how to use sound healing because it's being integrated into your DNA with the light codes of the sun and the light codes of other chosen ones. So when you're when you're around the people that reflect God's love and God's light, then you're able to, I'm hearing like open up at, okay, so being safe enough to open up at the DNA level, wow. So being around the sun and light codes from other chosen ones allows an integration. There's a lot of people, you know, that could be our soul family and things like that, but we have to constantly make sure that we're not being triggered, right? Even as chosen ones, constantly waking up to who we are because we don't want to constantly be triggered. We want to be able to move past that and see the light in others. I'm hearing see the light in, in everyone, not just chosen ones. Okay, so as chosen ones, we allow light to be transferred from us to others as well. Light and love. And it should not deplete us because if we're getting our light and our love from source creator, it doesn't run out. It never runs out. It never runs out. I'm hearing the promises of God never run out. So abundance. It doesn't run out. Love. It doesn't run out. Joy. It doesn't run out. And the joy is our strength to continue to laugh and continue to, wow, allow expansion in our bodies at a, at a, at a micro level. Angels are protecting you. So... Highly favored, highly protected. I just heard you're made with a purpose. Not You're not just made with a purpose to complete like a mission. You're made with an actual purpose. Like when you were made, you were made with love. You were made with certain talents and certain attributes to be able to contribute to the whole so that God's light can ripple and expand. It's your time to shine. Angels are protecting you, so don't be afraid to shine your light. Not everybody will understand you. Not everybody even goes through this process of waking up. But you, I'm hearing you're a dreamer. I'm hearing you are an ancient soul that has the ability to wake up in every lifetime. I'm hearing your angels wake you up. So you might be woken up in your sleep by an angel. Or you might wake up in your sleep because the angel is giving you a dream message. Or an actual angel coming to you. Or um, angels like a soft whisper. Or I'm hearing like a past loved one. I'm hearing mediumship. Understand that. 
as source upgrades you, your spirit, your mind, and your body, you're going to continue to shine more and more. And there will be jealous people, evil family members. There'll be people, like I said, that don't understand you. They'll be jealous of your success. But Spirit is saying, I got your back. Angel ancestor armies. And it's your time to shine. So don't be afraid to shine. All right, is there any other card you want me to pull? Okay, I think that's it, guys. I was, uh, I think I was wanting to pull one of these. Let me just get one of these to go. This is the Archangel cards. So, Spirit, you said angels are protecting us and it's our time to shine. So can you can you show me what angels what angels have our back right now? What angels have the collective's back right now? Ooh. I'm hearing all the angels, but I'm not gonna take all of these, y'all. I'm gonna take the first two that fell out, and I'm gonna take bottom of the deck. Give with an open heart and be generous. Archangel Charity. So the archangels that are protecting you right now, look, and guardian angel. Guardian angel. Your, first of all, your past loved one, someone has passed away and is now your guardian angel. And they see you become discouraged on your... I'm about to cry. Jesus. You guys, I'm highly empathic, so I'm feeling somebody very disappointed in themselves or feeling alone. And your past loved one is coming to you to remind you to love yourself unconditionally and that you are unconditionally loved, not only in heaven, but here. But here on earth, you are protected by many angels. A lot of um, evil family members or people that you've come in contact with, they um, might trigger you to question your, your, your self-love. And the thing is, is your angels are helping you heal those areas so that you can shine, so that you can be able to um, walk in your path. I'm hearing to continue to walk in your path. So I don't know if you guys remember me talking about earlier. I said that the universe is abundant. God is abundant. This is the cornucopia. This signifies abundance. So this angel is carrying abundance. And on the bottom, it says give with an open heart. See, a lot of times people go through traumas and pain and they close their heart off. They close out the I'm hearing they close out the mother, they close out the empress, they close out the creativity. Maybe they're creative in themselves, but they keep it all to themselves. You know what I mean? Or maybe they only give a select few to those that they feel deserve it. But the thing is, is spirit gives us this cornucopia to share it with others, not as our discretion advises. It's not as our discretion advises. It says give with an open heart. With an open heart, what does that mean? With an open heart means not having blockages in the heart chakra, working on the heart chakra blockages, allowing love to, to come in freely, but also to be given freely. So I'm hearing you're a very generous person. But the thing is, is the generosity is not for us to to nitpick who gets what oh Susie gets the pear and da, da 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 and Jeremy gets the the apple it's spirit that's gonna say who gets what and the thing is is 
This is abundance that my angels, that your angels are holding. And this abundance, man, it's the cornucopia of our life. It's the fullness of our life. It's spirit saying, I've seen you struggle and you will not struggle no more. You will be satiated. You will be full, emotional bliss, full of love. And when you are full of love like that and you hold the cornucopia, you're not going to, you know what it's like to starve. And if you know what it's like to starve, you think that, oh, I'm just going to give this to this person and that to that person. Nah, people are starving. And the universe is abundant. So it's like, as soon as you put that basket out to feed people, God will provide you with another full basket. Okay? And it's for you to eat, but also for others to eat. I'm hearing God is no respecter of persons. Source doesn't say I'm better than you or you're better than me. We're in this game together and the universe is abundant. Abundant with love abundant with blessings, abundant with spiritual gifts. So forgiveness, um, taking a lavender release bath. I'm taking this personal right here because I need to do that. So I don't know if anybody, okay. Lavender baths for soul healing speaking to your spirit guides your your ancestors your loved ones loving without conditions loving without expectation loving with detachment letting people go you only know you love her if you let her go i don't know that's the song i'm channeling right now I don't know that song fully, but it's like. You only know you love them and you let them go. Mm -hmm. Anyways, look up that song. I know you guys know that song. I'm going to look it up whenever I'm done with this. Um, but yeah, real love is setting something free, right? Letting it go. And if it's meant to you, it will come back to you. And that is with everything. So being able to forgive and to release. So if you can write down in the comments, I forgive myself. I forgive others. I release myself from expectation and I release others from expectation. Ashe. Yeah. Something about heart chakra. Allowing the heart chakra to grow. <sighs> I'm hearing breath work. So if anybody is feeling anxiety, um, try doing breath work and then using lavender. Also going out in nature. You guys might be seeing butterflies, sunflowers, daffodils, or daisies. Some of you guys have green wings, like 5D spiritually. Some of you guys have like pink wings, pink and white. Some have purple and pink. Some have green wings. Some have gold. Some have pink. Beautiful. I see you guys in 5D. You guys are beautiful. I'm hearing you guys reflect the source. You guys reflect the angels. The last card I'm going to do, it says, accept and send healing. You are a being of the universe. So being able to receive and accept love with an open heart. And look at this bottom of the deck. Open your heart to give and receive love. Your essence is love. Like I said, some of you guys have gold and pink wings. And the thing is, is because you're so connected to healing, you're so connected to healing, you're so connected to the heart chakra, you're so connected with, I'm, I'm hearing like healing the wounds of others or healing the wounds of yourself and being able to share how you've done that. 
I'm seeing a vision of an animal licking their wounds. So you may have to lick your own wounds a lot. And spirit has seen that. Spirit sees you as the essence of love itself. Spirit wants us to be able to open our hearts to not only give love freely, but to re receive love freely as well. And as we give love and receive love freely, we're also sending and receiving healing. This says accept and send healing. This says give and receive love. So this is as we are giving love, as we are giving healing, we are also accepting love and healing in return. The earth, Gaia, has a way of teaching us certain lessons that we need to learn here. But we need to understand that we're loved and we're here for a human experience. And as we open our heart chakra and we heal these things, I'm hearing rose petals, rose petals on your head. Receiving downloads of love. Then we're able to really heal parts of ourselves and become and, and, and become who we are truly meant to be every single day, embodying it and understanding that the universe is abundant. So there's enough love and abundance for everyone, as much as you need. It's making me want to cry. As much as you need, source will provide it for you. That's what makes the relationship with Source so amazing. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. If you are looking for a personal reading, this was just a general. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you want a personal reading, hit me up on my email, sjchip at gmail.com. It's also in my, uh, it'll be in the description box below and it'll also be in my bio. And... I also have decks of cards for sale. So go go check everything out. All right. Love you guys so much. Peace.